Good morning. It is Friday, April the 8th, 2022, and we've been doing some devotionals out of this book, 52 Hebrew Words Every Christian Should Know, by Dave Adamson. The word for today should be very familiar to you. It is Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim. In English, we often say Jerusalem. Yerushalayim. When you stand on the Mount of Olives, about a mile from Jerusalem, the hustle of the city is loud and overwhelming. Even from that distance, and when you're in the narrow streets of the city, the sights and sounds are even more intense and chaotic. The opposite of serenity and peace. But this was not the plan for a place called the Holy City. In Psalm 147, verse 2, it says, The Lord builds up Jerusalem, he gathers the exiles of Israel. Unquote. Jerusalem in the Bible is analogous to God's kingdom. Similarly, the image of God bringing Israel back to Jerusalem foreshadows Jesus bringing wayward sinners into his kingdom. For all who believe in Jesus, God has welcomed them into his kingdom to be with him forever and has promised them a citizenship in the new Jerusalem. It will be a place of ultimate peace and rest. The book of Revelation explains that all believers will live in a new Jerusalem of God's kingdom. But Jesus also said the kingdom of God is within all of his followers. This means that if you are a follower of Jesus, people should see and experience that God is with you whenever they are with you. Would people say that about you? I have stood on the Mount of Olives and looked over at Yerushalayim. I've walked the streets of Yerushalayim. What a marvelous place. But I look forward to a new heaven and a new earth and the new Yerushalayim. Father God, we thank you that we can go come to you for peace. We know that Yerushalayim is the city of peace. But Father, we know that our peace ultimately comes from you. So be with us today. Guide us and direct us. For it's in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.